Volkswagen's electric cars are causing big problems. A huge lawsuit has been filed against them, and guess what? It's costing them millions of dollars. And that's not all. Their EV transition has completely collapsed. They're facing a complete disaster in the EV industry. And here are six reasons why. Number six, Volkswagen continues to invest in internal combustion engines. The German car maker Volkswagen was one of the first traditional car companies to fully commit to electric cars. Unlike Toyota, for example, Volkswagen's leaders believe that quickly switching to electric vehicles was the only way to stay competitive during the transition to more environmentally friendly cars. The company created a special platform just for electric vehicles and has already launched several all-electric cars under the Volkswagen Group. Additionally, they introduced a new line of electric cars called the ID Series, which already has a good number of models available. However, the switch to EVs is not going as smoothly as expected. The growth of the market has slowed down significantly in most parts of the world. As a result, many car manufacturers are now postponing their plans to become fully electric makers within short timeframes. Just a few years ago, Volkswagen announced its ambitious goal to become an all-electric automaker by 2033. However, this goal now seems unlikely to be achieved within the original time frame. For many years, Germany's largest car maker, Volkswagen, has been spending one-third of its research and development budget on internal combustion cars. According to Arno Antlitz, this approach is not going to change anytime soon. Instead, the company wants to ensure that its combustion engines remain competitive. This year alone, Volkswagen plans to invest $65 billion in internal combustion engine technology, which represents one-third of its research and development budget. Entlitz said, The future is electric, but the past is not over. It is a third, and it will stay a third, clearly indicating that combustion engines will continue to be in use well beyond 2033. This statement suggests that while the company is moving towards electric cars, it will still invest heavily in traditional engine technology for the foreseeable future. Now, before we continue, if you're enjoying this video, do well to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to show your support. If you've done that, let's continue. Number 5. New Partnerships for Cost Effectiveness Volkswagen is facing a lot of challenges with its move towards electrification. Not only has the market growth for electric cars slowed down significantly, but the company also has not been able to reach the point of making a profit from its electric vehicles. The losses they are experiencing are quite high. Because of these financial difficulties, the only solution seems to be to team up with other automakers. That's one strategy to reduce development and production costs. In essence, despite their plans not going as expected, there's no intention to abandon electric vehicles. Rather, the focus is on making them more accessible to everyone. It's widely recognized that the initial phase of early adopters has passed, yet car manufacturers haven't yet introduced electric models that are as affordable as traditional combustion engine cars. So, officials are now pushing for partnerships and joint ventures to attract a large number of buyers. Volkswagen is in urgent need of reliable partners to help produce plug-in vehicles for the mass market. The company is already in talks with important European car manufacturers like Renault about working together to develop affordable electric cars. These cheaper EVs are aimed at winning over middle and lower class car buyers. Similar efforts and discussions are also taking place in China, where Volkswagen is seeking partnerships to develop cost-effective electric cars for a wider audience. As Volkswagen is losing its momentum and won't be able to compete with local companies soon, the only solution was to partner with one of them. It teamed up with Xpeng and created a new sub-brand offering cheaper models. This sub-brand focuses on the needs of Chinese customers, including features like advanced speech recognition and strong connectivity to Chinese social platforms. This is important because their electric vehicles have faced many software problems so far. Number 4. Troubles in China While we can explain the lack of success by pointing to slow demand in places like America, this isn't true for China. 
In China, people are switching to electric cars much faster. China is a world leader in many areas of electric cars. Companies from there have some of the most advanced technology, and this is also the market with the highest number of electric car users. Moreover, China's infrastructure for electric cars is very impressive, with the most developed charging network in the world. In other words, there is no excuse for Volkswagen's poor performance, which is much below expectations. For the first time in over a decade, Volkswagen is not the overall market leader. That top spot now belongs to BYD. While year-on-year -year trends are still positive, it's clear that Chinese customers don't have much trust in Volkswagen's electric cars. Domestic car makers are more affordable and more competitive. Last summer's accident, where all four passengers died in an all-electric Volkswagen, didn't help either. Volkswagen's growth in the EV segment is lower than key rivals, with a 23% year-over-year growth compared to the segment average of 36%. But it's not just Volkswagen, almost every foreign car maker is showing negative sales trends. The market share of foreign brands has dropped to 44% from 64% in 2020. Simply put, domestic EV makers are winning because their cars are cheaper. Volkswagen is trying to compete by lowering prices too, but this hasn't helped much so far. Right now, the German automaker offers three all-electric models in the Chinese market the ID3, the ID4, and the ID6. Number 3. ID7 Delay Just a couple of months ago, it seemed like Volkswagen was almost ready to launch its new midsize sedan in North America. The company even shared most of the details about the new ID7, including that it would come in just two versions for North America. However, with the latest trends in the U.S. market and a new EPA proposal, it became clear that the ID7 might not do well. The U.S. market is not only slow to embrace electric vehicles, but also shifting away from traditional sedans to prefer SUVs and crossovers. So, Volkswagen America announced that it is delaying the release of this model in the United States and Canada without saying for how long. Officials stated that Volkswagen is committed to making decisions based on market needs and listening to their customers. As market conditions change, Volkswagen is delaying the launch of the ID7 sedan in the US and Canada. Meanwhile, the ID7 has already been launched in Europe, where both the sedan and wagon versions are seeing higher demand than expected. According to officials, the ID7 is meant to replace the internal combustion Passat. It competes in the same class, has similar proportions, and comes in two versions regarding powertrain and drivetrain. Base models have a single electric motor with 282 horsepower, while all-wheel drive versions have an additional motor on the front axle, producing a total of 335 horsepower. In our opinion, this EV won't be coming to the North American market soon. This is not just because of the slowdown in EV adoption, but also because mid-size sedans are becoming less popular overall. As we mentioned before, VW has already discontinued the Passat. Subaru and Chevrolet are also moving away from this segment with their legacy and Malibu models. Ford left this segment a long time ago, so now there are only a few manufacturers left, mainly from Japan and Korea. Number 2. Focusing on Plug-in Hybrids Not so long ago, everyone thought Toyota was crazy. Today, everyone is adopting their approach to electric and hybrid cars. Current market trends aren't entirely in favor of electric vehicles, but hybrids are doing very well. This is also true in North America, where hybrid sales have increased by over 70% year over year. Hybrids already make up more than 9% of the U.S. market, and this trend is expected to continue growing. Additionally, there are expectations for further growth this year and next, especially since Toyota's popular models like the Camry and RAV4 will soon be available exclusively as plug-in hybrids. Naturally, Volkswagen aims to capture its share of this market, and they have already announced plans to focus more on plug-in hybrids in the future. In Europe, this includes models such as the Golf, Passat, and Tiguan. Volkswagen will also begin selling plug-in hybrids in America for the first time. In China, Volkswagen formed a joint venture with SAIC Group last year to develop plug-in hybrids specifically for the large Chinese market.
Number 1. Other Volkswagen brand wants to keep combustion engine very long Even though Volkswagen has been putting a lot of money into electrification, other brands in the Volkswagen group aren't very pleased with how things are progressing. Yeah, Audi and Porsche have already introduced a few all-electric cars, and they are also exploring or discussing new types of fuels. Even Volkswagen brand leader Thomas Schaefer has discussed the importance of synthetic fuels. Porsche is actively investing in synthetic fuel production facilities in Chile. Bugatti is exploring the idea of creating home fuel stations for owners to fill up with synthetic fuel, while Lamborghini is also exploring alternatives to fossil fuels for combustion engines. Bentley is also looking into carbon-neutral fuels and has postponed its goal to become completely electric by 2030. This shift isn't surprising as Volkswagen's competitors are also scaling back their ambitions for rapid electrification. For instance, Ford no longer believes it can transition entirely to electric vehicles in Europe by 2030. Alright guys, we've come to the end of this video, and if you enjoyed it, do well to click on the like and subscribe buttons. Don't forget to check our other videos on the playlist. We've got some amazing content for you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.